quite simply, we take water from the bottom of Lake Ontario, nice cold, four degrees Celsius water. That water is treated as drinking water by Toronto Water, and then pumped through a, a large set of heat exchangers here in this facility. That's transferring energy, the cooling energy, otherwise uh, performed by, by large chillers or air conditioners at our customer sites, transferring that energy into the drinking water supply and removing it from the downtown. When we have installed three long, uh, almost five kilometer long intake pipes on the bottom of Lake Ontario, these all accumulate water at uh, the island filtration plant operated by Toronto Water. Water has a very interesting property where it's most dense at four degrees Celsius, meaning as, as the air cools in the fall and, uh, and the surface water in Lake Ontario starts cooling quite rapidly, it'll hit that densest point at four degrees Celsius and sink to the bottom of the lake. It's, it's, uh, it never freezes all the way down to the lake. Through the island filtration plant, that, that nice cold 4 degrees Celsius water is treated as, as drinking water, and then the drinking water is pumped through the facility that we're in today, uh, through the heat exchangers, as well as from our customer site. That drinking water is now warmed up slightly, then continues on back to the city on this normal path. Well, there are two types of buildings that we connect to our system. New construction, which is fairly straightforward. The buildings are designed around the connection to deep lake water cooling. Or retrofits, in which case we're literally removing a filler from the building's uh, and replacing that with a heat exchanger that again is just transferring heat from the building through end waves to introduce the system into the proper water supply. The energy saving, and it's, it's, it's significant, up to 90%, is, uh, is, is that the avoided electricity that would otherwise be used in the building's within the cooling plant. So where those, those fillers are, are using electricity to power that refrigeration cycle, the only electricity used in any wave system is in uh, pumping water around our distribution. The main environmental feature of NMA's deep lake water cooling system is that the, the warm water, after having been through our customer sites, is not rejected directly back into Lake Ontario. Uh, that heat is now passed on through the water water system for the city, ensuring that the lake has no opportunity to ever warm up or heat up. It runs uh, extremely well. Where, where a traditional mechanical cooling plant in the building may, may use electricity on the order of 0.9, maybe one kilowatt of electricity per ton of cooling. Uh, n wave system operates at about 0.2 kilowatts a ton. So an immediate savings of, of about 80% on the electricity side. I, I think the biggest advantage to a lot of the certain commercial buildings is the fact that n waves deep lake water cooling rates are fixed. They escalate by CPI. There is no dependence on volatile gas or electricity markets. So in terms of buildings uh, budgeting forward for 10, 15, 20 years, uh, as many years as they're connected to the system, that budget certainty certainly helps them with their tenants. Uh, district energy in its very nature also has inherent efficiencies built in, economies of scale through uh, fewer operators, fewer pieces of equipment to, to purchase, to manage, to uh, maintain and install. So the the efficiencies are certainly recognized by our customers. The, the, the first few customers were certainly a, a bit of a challenge to connect to the system. Whenever you go into a building that's otherwise planning 20 or 25 year life cycles for chillers and tell them you have something new, something innovative, uh, that really goes over well. As, as one of our, our customers, uh, certainly internally, and I may famously quote it to us, nobody's ever been fired for putting in chillers. So to make that leap as the first or second or third customer into the, the system, uh, was, was, a, was a, a fair leap of faith for those, uh, those buildings. Now, we certainly have buildings coming to us looking for service to the point where, uh, where we're almost sold out of our capacity uh, a few years ahead of schedule.